G'day guys, my name is Dave Tran and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. And in today's lesson I'll be teaching you how to play Symphony by Clean Bandit and Zara Larson. Now this is actually a really simple song to play, but the most difficult part about it is the timing of the chord changes. Now if you want to master your chords back to front then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. So let's jump straight into the song and for the basics you'll need your guitar in standard tuning and you'll need a capo on the third fret of your guitar. So let's get stuck into the verse, and the verse has two lines of chords. Our first line of chords goes C, then we go to an F, and then we go back to a C. And our second line of chords goes A minor, and then E minor, and then F. Now for each line of chords, we're going to have one full strumming pattern. Now our strumming pattern is going to go something like this. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up up, down, up, down, up, and a bit slower. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. So each line of chords will be played for one strumming pattern. The point at which you're gonna change chords is shown visually up here in the annotations. But essentially the second chord in each of these lines is played on the third down strum, and the third chord is played on the third up strum of the strumming pattern. So the first line of chords will sound like this. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. And the second line of chords. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. And the verse in total. So that's it for the verse, and the verse chords are actually played in the bridge of this song as well. Now we get to the pre-chorus, and the pre-chorus is a lot more straightforward. We just have two lines of chords here. Our first line of chords goes F, and then we go to A minor, and then E minor, and then F. And our second line of chords is just F, A minor, and then G. We're going to be using a really simple strumming pattern here that just goes down, down, up, up, down, up. And you're gonna play that once for each chord in this pre-chorus. So the pre-chorus will sound like this. Now we get to the chorus, and this is where the chord changes are gonna get a little tricky but I'll try to break it down as simply as possible. So for the chorus, we essentially have two lines of chords. Our first line of chords is F, and then A minor, then E minor, and then F. And our second line of chords is just A minor, E minor, and F. And it's just a tag that is played at the end of the chorus. But we're going to be focusing mainly on this first line because this is where all the tricky stuff is. So let's break it down to two different strumming patterns that we'll need to learn. Our first strumming pattern just goes down, down, up, up, down, up. So similar to what we have in the pre-chorus. So we're going to play that once for the F and we're going to play that once for the A minor as well. So we have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down. Now the second strumming pattern that we have is the strumming pattern that's actually used in the verse. So we've already learnt it. it. Goes down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Now the trickiest part is going to be the chord changes. So our last chord was an A minor and we're going to continue on with this A minor for this second strumming pattern. And within this strumming pattern we're going to have that E minor and that F as well. Now the change to the E minor and the F are both on up strums. They're noted here up in the annotations, but essentially for the second strumming pattern in this chorus it will sound like this. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. So in total, the first line in the chorus will sound like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. So 
that's the main line in the chorus and that gets repeated and the tag at the end of the chorus is quite easy it's essentially just that second half of the first line so the A minor to E minor to F and the strumming pattern is shortened though so it's down down up up down down up and with the chords down down up up down down up and again the E minor and the F are changed on up strums. So in total, this is what the chorus will sound like. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, So now I'll be playing through the majority of the song and I'm going to have a vocal track on top for some context. My good friend Gemma has helped me out with the vocals here, so be sure to check out her cover of this song up in the link here or in the link in the description below and show her some love. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to, to practice, play along to and see how you go. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. It'd mean the world if you could hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and click the little notification bell so that you don't miss out on any updates. Check out Gemma's cover of Symphony below, leave your thoughts, comments, questions as well, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.